Greetings, Kindred, and welcome back to our world of darkness and another episode of Level by Level Amalgams. This is the playlist where we go through all of the advanced practices in Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition. These are not your common disciplines. These are the disciplines that take multiple uses and put them together. And today we are going to be talking about Spark of Rage, which is a potence discipline, a level 3 potence discipline to be specific, but it's also an amalgam of the presence level 3 power as well. You have to have at least three levels of presence to buy this. This allows you to drag uncontrollable rage out of your victim. The book says, combining potence and presence, the vampire can incite anger and even frenzy in onlookers as easily as awe or dread. The user must take care not to rile up an angry mob to turn on them rather than the target or each other. So it is difficult to make it so that these targets end up targeting the proper targets because they become unreasonably angry. They could turn on themselves, they could turn on you, they could turn on your allies while you're trying to get them. You really, really need to use this in the proper way. Take care to word things properly. The cost is one rouse check. So riling these people up, you need to call on the blood to do this. The dice pulls are manipulation plus potence. And I love that. I love seeing a social attribute being combined with a physical discipline. I always just get a kick out of that. And seeing manipulation plus potence being added together is just, it brings a little warmth in my heart. The system states, when active, the user can add their potence rating to an attempt to rile or incite a person or a crowd to violence. In addition, the user can activate this power and roll a contest of manipulation plus potence versus the composure plus intelligence of another vampire. If they win, the opposing vampire must make a Fury Frenzy test at a difficulty of three. Now again, Fury Frenzy, that's not something that you can control. You're going to attack the first thing that angers you, which is most likely going to end up being the person who's using this power. Now I can see you using it as a third party observer, if that makes any sense. The idea of like, okay, there's there's a Bruja who's in an argument with a Ventru. Like, let's just say the Prince has told him that he can't do anything. One snide remark, one, one rouse check and a snide remark from you might cause that vampire to lose their goddamn mind on the Ventru that they were arguing with or that turned them down for something. This is just an example. Obviously you can use this for any clan, but it is something where if you use it properly, you might be able to ricochet off and hit the other vampire. The duration is a single scene. It's one scene. So this is one of those things that I can see Anarchs using during a rant, a, a bruja rant, where they are just making it so that those who are fighting for them are as angry and directed as they themselves are. I would love to hear some examples of use of Spark of Rage. Um, I've seen some amazing uses in LA by Night done uh, by Annabelle. Uh, the Bruja uh, in that, and it, it really is just an inspir it's an inspiring discipline, and it's meant to be. It's meant to inspire anger. It's meant to inspire rage, and you really got to direct it in the right direction. I am Voivode Maquette. This is Our World of Darkness, and another episode in the Amalgams playlists for Level by Level. We've just gone through Spark of Rage. I'd love to hear from you on your opinions of this interesting discipline which is a mix of social plus physical might. Class dismissed.